Hey, we'd like to welcome in John Unitas Jr. Uh, uh, thrilled to have you in studio today to uh, make this special announcement on the uh, 2015 John Unitas Golden Arm Award winner. It's a special honor. Some special guys have had this in the past. Marcus Mariota was a, a great ambassador for the award last year. And I think we have with us right now, you want uh, we welcome you, in uh, head, head coach Mark D'Antonio of the Michigan State Spartans and their quarterback, Connor good Cook. Afternoon. Good, after, good afternoon, Connor. Hey, how are you? This is John. On? This is John Unitas Jr. with the John Unitas Golden Arm Educational Foundation and the Golden Arm Award. How are you? Well, hey, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, you. Coach. How are you? Doing great. Good. Appreciate you having us on today. Thank you very much. Well, I appreciate you being here uh, on 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 air with us with Scott and Jeremy and Connor. Uh, the reason for my call, my friend, is that. Uh, you are the winner of the 2015 Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award. How about that? Wow. <laughs> and we wow. are very, very proud of you and, and your accomplishments on and off the field. And, and Coach, uh, I know uh, he's done a great job for the team, and I know it's a, it's a total team sport, and, and uh, you guys have played very well. You had me a little nervous on Saturday, but other than that, it was, it was, <laughs> it was fun. It was fun to watch, and uh, you guys yeah. are fantastic. And, Connor, we're, we're looking forward to having you and your parents and uh, – some of your coaches here in Baltimore on Friday, and and uh, we'll, we're going to show you some some real good old Baltimore hospitality. Awesome. Well, hey, first off, thank you. Um, you know, the season has been been awesome. You know, to to be a part of another great team. Um, I've been so fortunate. You know, my career here to be on a lot of great teams. You know, going back to 2013 and last year. Um, but like you said, it's a, it's a it's a whole team effort. Yeah. Um, you know, me being so fortunate enough to throw to a great receiver like Aaron Burbridge and one Big Ten receiver of the year and other, you know, great wideouts, you know, other, other supporters on our offense and obviously having a fantastic O-line um, who I gave my MVP trophy to after the, uh, after the ceremony, after beating Iowa, just because, nice. you know, they really, really gritted yeah. it out against, uh, against them in the last drive. But um, it's a full team effort, but I'm extremely honored. Uh, and blessed to have won this award, and so it's a lot of hard work going in. Yes, sir. And um, I just couldn't be more thankful. Well, hey, you certainly deserve it, Connor. And we're looking forward to having you. And I know uh, Jeremy and Scott have a few questions. Yeah, for hey, you. Coach D'Antonio, uh, uh, just a, a little yep. bit. Uh, congratulations, because I know all the Spartans share in this, as Connor said. But a little bit about you. Uh, you, you got behind enemy lines and, and brought him in from Ohio several years ago. But uh, <laughs> you know what he's meant to the Spartan program. Well, Connor's done an outstanding job, first of all, and really, like any quarterback, uh, like Johnny, you used to go. Yeah. As the quarterback goes, our team goes. He's done a tremendous job in terms of uh, leadership, uh, playing on a big stage. Uh, he's been MVP at the, the Rose Bowl, the Cotton Bowl, the Pig Championship game two times now. Yeah. Um, so he has just been a guy that has really risen above any kind of um, problems on the field. You know, he's been able to handle and and sort of – you know, take us to victory. I mean, I, I think um, I'm not sure, John, John Lewandowski. But I think Connor is 33 and four, maybe or 34 and three. 34 and four is what I had down, yeah. Coach. Yeah, which is pretty impressive. And, 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 and the big the Big Ten record, I think, was 22 and two since he's been your quarterback. Phenomenal. Oh. Uh, j- it's j- phenomenal. J- phenomenal. Coach, you're old enough. You're probably not quite as old as me because I did Tommy Izzo's high school basketball games, but uh, <laughs> but I got a little sparty in me. But you are old enough to remember that uh, John Unitas did his best work when when. You know the spotlight was the brightest, and and I thought Connor's what twenty two play eighty two yard nine minute drive uh, to win the Big Ten championship said a lot about uh, uh, what he does under pressure. That was a phenomenal drive that gave you guys the Big Ten title. Yeah, it was, and he's number eighteen, and Johnny U was number nineteen, I believe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, I'm still excited to hear Raymond Berry talk at the at the uh, at the right at the dinner, and I you know I am old enough to remember. Those times when the Colts were the, were uh, um, in Baltimore and they were NFL champions and things of that nature, so uh, that's going to be very exciting for me as well. But okay. uh, we're looking forward to having you, Coach. I mean, there's no, you know, he he's he's a guy that's got experience. He's a guy that knows our system. Um, he's a guy that grew in our system, um, and he's a guy that really has taken Michigan State from a winning football team to a championship football team, having won two championships now in the Big Ten in Connor's time there as, a, as, a, as our quarterback. So it's just outstanding. I, I want to ask about what's up next. Um, obviously winning this award, that's huge. It's a hu- huge coup. But, uh, you know, you guys got the Cotton Bowl and everything else down the line. Uh, looking at Alabama, uh, your thoughts on, on that upcoming game? 
Connor or Connor, Connor, yeah, yeah. go ahead, SC. Connor. <laughs> yeah, um, obviously we're looking forward to it. You know, um, SEC is a great conference. Alabama is an extremely, you know, talented, very, very good program. Um, won a lot of championships, and you know, uh, playing at a school like Michigan State, uh, you want to play against the best, and, and you want to be in a situation like this. And it'll be fun going back to Dallas. We're familiar with it. Um, you know, playing in that stadium, the whole area, um, and whatnot. But um, we're we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a great time, and I'm um, sure Coach G is looking forward to it as well. Hey, uh, both both of you, you can know, come. My, go ahead, Coach. Yeah, uh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, go ahead. Uh, yeah, from my perspective, I would just add that that uh, this is our first opportunity to play in the playoffs, and um, you know, this is the second year that this has happened, obviously, but our first opportunity so we're we're on new ground a little bit so this is going to be very exciting for our for our football program and it's the period of growth for us we're going to play an outstanding alabama team that prides themselves on uh, great defense and coverage and pass rush and things of that nature so it's going to be a great challenge for us but there are certainly great opportunities here for us to um, to be able to step beyond uh, um, what we've been able to do already Connor and Coach, you can both comment on this because I know Connor didn't have probably 100% in the tank with the shoulder injury in the Iowa game and coming down the stretch, but uh, found a way to get the job done. And uh, I, I guess a lot of respect. Uh, your teammates knew you were out there. You didn't have maybe your full game, but you gave gave it everything you had. Talk a little bit about playing through the adversity of the shoulder injury. Right. You know, I think that's kind of been the story for us all year long is just, you know, injuries and, and, and fighting through it. And, and no matter what kind of adversity was, you know, thrown in our way that we were going to overcome it, um, you know, with the O-line dealing with that early on in the year and other guys, you know, falling down and, and then, you know, uh, going back in and rising back up. But, you know, I was going to lay my life out there on the line for my teammates, you know, no matter what the circumstances were, um, sore shoulder, whatever it was. But, um, you know, that, that last drive, uh, the 22 play drive, you know, I think I only threw the ball once. But, um, you know, all the credit goes to the O-line. You know, they – I mean, it's so hard to run block, you know, in the Big Ten going up against a great defensive line that Iowa had. And to do that in the fourth quarter when they're tired, um, to do it for 22 straight plays, you know, to win the game, um, they just showed so much grit and so much toughness. And, and obviously for LJ to go in there and, and, and do the job and break tackles and get yards after contact um, was awesome. But, you know, I wasn't going to let anything hold me back, um, you know, playing with a sore shoulder. But um, it just felt so great to get in there and – and win and get another championship with my uh, with my teammates. Connor, this is a war. The award is about football, but it's about education and graduating on time and things like that and character. And I read a, a terrific story about you and a special friend you have, Miranda McCoy, uh, a 25 year old former athlete uh, who's now a quadriplegic. Just talk a little about about this uh, special <clears throat> friendship uh, you have with her. Right. So uh, last year, I remember um, she kind of reached out to me or kept, you know, favoriting my tweets or tweeting at me. So then I followed her back and then we kind of talked a little bit here and there um, last year. And then I uh, was able to sign a picture for her and send it down to her where she was, you know, doing some rehab in Florida. Um, and she got the picture and she was real stoked about it um, and then continued to, to, to talk to her and, and take our relationship further. And um, I remember she she was messaging me uh, before the Ohio State game. And I kind of knew I wasn't playing um, just because my shoulder was pretty sore um, going into the game. And, and she said, she's like, hey, this is my first time ever coming to a Michigan State game. You know, it's going to be my first time seeing you play. And I'm like sitting there thinking, I'm like, wow, you know, <laughs> the first time she comes to see me play, you're um, injured, I'm right? not actually playing. So I, I didn't tell her, um, but I felt really, really bad. But, um, you know, luckily I was able to see her after the game and, and meet her in person for the first time. Um, and she's just such a sweet girl. She's yeah, so I positive, saw a picture. Positive. She's beautiful, yeah. And she was an and athlete too, so right? Yeah. Hey, yeah, she played. She played basketball, and she's a cheerleader. Uh huh. A, a little about your your family background <clears throat> coming up, because I read your dad played football in Indiana. Your mother was a college basketball player. I think you got a sister playing college ball at Old Dominion. So obviously, it was a sports household, right? Oh, most definitely. Yep. Dad played football at Indiana. Mom played basketball at Cincinnati. My sister is now living in San Diego, um, working in sales, but she played basketball for Old Dominion for okay. four years. Uh, was a part of the 1,000 point club. So, um, ever since I was real little, you know, we've always taken sports very, very seriously, and um, they've been a, a major role in, in our lives. I want to ask both of you this question, but uh, coach, you you answer first, please. Uh, you guys were a part of probably the strangest game this year, the 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 most incredible ending to a game I think I've ever seen. Does it stand out that way in your mind that Michigan Michigan State game and and how how that thing finished when it just seems like you know basically everything's kind of over from a fan standpoint watching the game and then in in the blink of an eye you have that crazy finish coach what was that like Well you just 
shows you that you play out every game and things things change as the game continues on. But, um, you know, from my perspective, uh, it was a very well-played football game. Uh, we played very well on defense. Uh, we threw the ball very effectively. Probably didn't run it as well as we had because of our, our offensive line being all shaken up. But, but um, you know, special teams had a big part in it. And, um you know, in the end, the good guys won. Yeah, it felt, it felt like it felt like there were about seventy reviews in that game, especially down on the goal line, trying to figure if someone was in or not in. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, if somebody was, I couldn't. You, I sort of lost you. If somebody was hurt. You mean when Jalen got hurt? No, I'm just talking about all the reviews. The goal when, line stands. Yeah, yeah. All yeah, those goal line stands, like and times. they'd stop the game and go review it for two minutes and come back and say, "No, he oh, didn't yeah. get in, or he did get in." It was crazy. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's, you know, I'm not allowed to comment too much. On <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> we don't want to get you in trouble, Coach. Uh, hey, hey we'll, we'll, we'll we'll be watching and, and pulling for the Spartans, but I'll let I'll let John close it out. Yeah. But, but again, congratulations, uh, Connor and Coach, uh, uh, on this special Thank award. You very much. Guys. Thank you. Hey. Quite an honor. Quite an honor, Coach Connor. Listen again. Travel safe. We're looking forward to having you here uh, on Friday. Um, as I say, we'll we'll have some fun. Your parents are coming into town, Connor. I, I'm I'm hoping they didn't tell you ahead of time, but they they kept a good secret. So, <laughs> oh, I had yeah. no idea, Coach D. Coach D. Like looked at me yesterday. We had a team meeting. He uh-huh. said, yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow. And I'm like thinking I'm in trouble or something. Yeah, uh-huh. well, that's what I was hoping you'd think. I was like, we good? <laughs> are we good? He's like, yeah, yeah, we're fine. And then uh, this is, I guess, what he meant by that. So yeah, well, there you um, go. Once again, well, thank you so much. It's all good. Thanks honored. for your time, guys. We look forward to seeing you. Thanks. All Travel right. Good luck in the Cotton Bowl. Take care. Look forward to seeing you. Bye bye. You got a good man. You got a good man, John. Yeah. Thank you, thank yeah. you, Scott. I think I do too. And uh, again, as I say to you every year, the selection committee just does a fabulous job in, in making the decision to pick the right guy. And and you could tell he's very humble on the phone. And um and and again, it's going to be fun to have him here. And and they always have a good time when they yeah, come. And, absolutely, and, you guys and, do and a my, great job. And my right? guests and my sponsors just love the death of them. So it's it's going to be fun. You know, one of the things, just real quick, about Coach Dan D'Antonio, if you haven't watched him. He's one of those guys that you love having as your coach or, you know, of, of your team because he will, I mean, they'll pull the special teams tricks oh, out, yeah. the fake punts, you know, a lot of a lot of interesting stuff there. So you're always on the edge of your seat. And they played a lot of close games. They had the bad call go against them with Nebraska that we've talked yeah. about, the crazy Michigan game. And you talk about a game against Iowa where nobody's really scoring. Right. I mean, it was a lot like last night's game, if you will. And then right. all of a sudden, you get that late touchdown yeah. and that drive. It was crazy. And, you know, he could have gone to the NFL last year. He decided yeah. he decided it, it, to come back, it, it, stay in school, right. he was have on, another he was run on, with he his was guys. On Top five last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and I'm, I'm, you know, it's, it's tr- now he's tr- playing for a national championship. He is, yeah. and, and again, he's, you know, he's he's graduated college, so that's that's very important. To All him, right, so. we'll come back yeah. t- talk a little more with John, uh, Scott, Jeremy, and you here on the fan. Scott, Jeremy, and you on 105.7 The Fan. I like it. Uh, I like it a lot. Scott, Jeremy, and John Unitas Jr. here on The Fan. John, we talked about, you know, the greatest game ever played and uh, that famous drive your dad <laughs> led against the Giants, taking them down the field. But, uh, you know, Cook playing with a bad shoulder. Yeah. Uh, and they, they're, they're, they're playing to get into the national championship, pretty much knowing that the winner of the Big Ten, whether it was Iowa or Michigan State, yeah. was probably going to be one of the Final Four. And, and he takes them 22 plays. 82 yards, nine minutes, and that turns out to be the winning score. And and he he's he's playing at less than 100 percent now. By the time they get around to New Year's Eve, that shoulder might be back. Yeah, I'm not sure back what, in good shape. What, what's wrong with it, Scotty? But I'm sure it's it's uh, probably pretty tender for him. And, yeah. and he's got a couple weeks right to to get it back to back to normal. And and uh, he's got a heck of an offense. I mean, and yeah. the defense. Is yeah, just, the defense. Oh, been my goodness, very 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 that, good. That could win it for him. Yeah. Uh, well, how about the matchup with Alabama, Jeremy? That, that's going to be tough, right? Yeah, yeah. Alabama has uh, arguably, and I don't even think it's arguably, the best defense in football. Yeah. I think Iowa's kind of, you know, their defense is very solid across the board. I don't think they have the athleticism mm-hmm. that an Alabama does. Um, Oklahoma might be the hottest team right now. Everybody's yeah. talking about yeah. the way they've been rolling over good competition. Uh, but I, I, my brother's a huge Alabama fan. He's not gonna like hearing me say this, but I'm kind of pulling for Michigan State. You know, you we, we've seen a lot of these other teams. Uh, we've seen Bama do it before. Oklahoma. I'm not a huge Bob Stoops fan, um, and you know, Clemson. Clemson has had a ton of talent, 
but they've never really got to this point. And I guess it'd be nice to see them play. But sure. yeah. uh, by the way, but, John, the you, your yeah. uh, Golden Arm winner from last year, Marcus Mariota, what was it, 84, 87, 87 yards. yards, 87 yard touchdown run, the longest run in the NFL this season. <laughs> I saw so, that. Too. So yeah. your guys yeah. are doing well, right? Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. they they all, they all have the those those athletic attributes. You know, uh-huh. that, uh, now, now my father really wasn't a runner. He wasn't so, a runner. No, no. He, but if he had to, he would. Yeah. You know, sure. Stick his head down and do my it. my favorite thing about Marcus Mariota, and we interviewed him last year after he uh, won the award. What a great kid. Um, the NFL w- teams were so concerned about him because he had zero red flags. It's like right. he's never had a yeah. sip of alcohol. <laughs> he never stayed out past curfew. He never did anything wrong. And they said, look, he's too squeaky clean, so something yeah. has to be wrong. Right. Yeah. And and so teams were doing like double the work on background checks because they're like, we got to find something wrong if with this guy. If they can find a little more to surround him with, I think he's yeah. going to have a nice career. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I, and again, I think they, they have a record where they, they could pick up a few good draft picks and, mm-hmm. and – uh, Hopefully the Ravens can too. But you know. how cool is that that you get to do that every year? You call oh. you call uh, somebody who I mean you had five terrific candidates oh, there yeah. for this award, and uh, you, you get to tell him that, that he's won the Golden Arm Award, and it kind of like wow. Well, I, I try <laughs> to do that every year, and and we, we used to do it from the Sun Papers, but uh-huh. now we're, we're going to make it a tradition with That's you. That's great, and Jeremy. We're, we're awesome. Well, you're welcome here anytime. Yeah, you thank know you that very much. But, look, uh, look forward to seeing you Friday night too, thank John. You, yeah. Thank you very much, Scott. And he, he does a great job as MC, and and uh, he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he does a bad job. I mean, you know, but it's always fun to have you, and, and um, oh. it's uh, it, it wouldn't be wouldn't be the same. Without I look you, forward Scotty, to this night. So, I, I, yeah. As I told you when you first called me about yeah. this, I said anything that has your dad's name right. on it, you can count me in. Well, thank you. You know that. I appreciate yeah. it. Very yeah, I much. just yeah. you know I remember is when he asked me come out and help him out with uh, the the Hartford County Scholarship Fund. Do you remember this? No. Well, he brought me out there and he roasted me for a half an hour. <laughs> so I'm walking oh, up yeah, on stage, <laughs> like ready to tell stories and talk about how great Scott is and how good it is to work with him. And he's just zinging one-liners at me, one after another. Hey, his, he's got it teed up real good yeah, for me. Honestly, I mean, you just got to hit does, it, John. He does. I, I enjoy he listening it up. to you guys every day and it's fun to, fun to hear him. So. All right. Look, look forward to Friday night, the Golden Thank Arm Award. Much. Connor Cook, the Michigan State quarterback, the 2015 winner. Scott, Jeremy, and you on the fan.